Hey everybody, uh, in the last video we learned to cut out some pretty simple shapes because uh, they were pretty much already made for us, uh, the, the letters. Um, in, in this case, what we're going to be doing is taking an image from, uh, from the computer, um, one that we maybe download off the internet, or maybe we drew it ourselves, uh, maybe we scanned it into the computer from um, you know, a book or something like that. Um, but w whatever, however you get the image, um, we're going to learn to turn it into a cut design so that you can use it to cut, s cut it out on your Cameo cutter. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first I'm going to show you how to go online and find uh, some images that would be good for this. And it's really the same criteria um, as when we're looking for designs to auto-digitize um, with a couple of minor differences. So I'm going to open up my web browser, and I'm going to go to google.com, and from Google I'm going to cross this top part here, I'm going to choose images, and now I just need to know what I'm looking for. Um, so let's see, how about we do uh, the Natty Bow logo, Mr. Bow, I know that would work out well. well that's something that people might want a t-shirt of. So here we find some pictures of Mr. Bow, um, and I'm going to narrow my search down a little bit by going to my search tools up here. We see right here where it says search tools. Uh, this allows me to choose the size, so I want large size, the bigger the better. Color, um, I'm going to choose black and white. And type, I'm going to choose uh, line drawing. Oops, actually I should have chosen clip art. There we go. Clip art. All right, so clip art, black and white, large. Um, and so this is a nice big picture of Mr. Bow. So this picture is what I'll work, what I'll use. I'll left click on that, choose view original image. There's my picture. Right click and save as. Uh, we'll save it right in my digitizing images folder. I'll put this image on, on the CD for you this week. So if you want to follow along with me and do exactly this, you can. Uh, so now that I've got my image, uh, and you can, like I said, use that same method for finding whatever it is you're looking for if it's not Mr. Bow. Um, so now in our Silhouette Studio program, open it up, go to File, Open, and here's one trick is that it doesn't automatically look for regular picture files. By default, it's looking for Silhouette Studio files. So you actually have to tell it that you want to look for like JPEGs, um, JPEG, that's what the file we just downloaded. If you don't have a JPEG and you've got like a um, PNG file, a BMP or a GIF or whatever, um, most things you download off the internet are going to be JPEGs though. So I'm just going to choose JPEG and then pick Mr. Bow. Click OK. There he is. I'm going to move him into the middle here a little, a little bit. Um, and now we need to make it so that we can trace this guy. Um, so go to Object the top, um, across this top bar here, File, Object, View, Object, go down to Trace, and after you choose Trace, look over here on your right hand side, we've got our Trace options. First we need to select the Trace Area, and the way that works is you left click on Select Trace Area, your mouse turns into a crosshair, left click and draw a box. I'm holding down my left mouse button now as I do this, and I let go and that tells it where I want it to look for the area to trace. And what it's going to do is part of it's going to turn yellow. Um, and what we want is for every part of the design that we want to be cut out, we want it all to be yellow. Um, so what you can do is over here under trace settings, if you move the slider around, you kind of kind of see it fill in more and more of the yellow. But look, it's actually not catching all of my yellow with this high pass filter. Um, so what I'm going to do is go over here to low pass filter, turn that on and move the slider around. There we go. I turn off my high pass filter and turn on my low pass filter all the way to the left. And that seems to be catching just about all the design. Let's see what happens if I move this threshold over. Oh, that went a little too far. So I'm just kind of moving these sliders around until I'm satisfied with what I see. And when, what I'm looking for is for as much of the original image to be covered over by the yellow as possible. Um, and that looks pretty good to me. So when I'm satisfied with it, I'm just going to click on Trace. And if I click Trace here, it's going to trace the whole thing. If I do Trace the outer edge, it'll just be this outer edge part. That's not what I want. 
um, and trace and detach um, we're not going to worry about trace and detach right now we're just going to use trace we're going to left click on trace and what it does is you can't really see it that well in the video but there's a red outline around every part of Mr. Bow here and if I move the image just by left clicking and dragging you can actually see what my cut lines are okay so I've got this and this and this or holes this part's going to be a hole this part in here is all going to be a hole this is what's going to be my vinyl and that matches up perfectly with the original image and once you're done with the original image you can get rid of it you can just right click on it and choose delete but from here we're done all we have to do is take this design and send it to the cutter by going to file send to silhouette make sure your settings are right for whatever type of material you're using um, remember if we were um, cutting this out of that purple material that I was playing with earlier or that glitter vinyl you want your blade set on 4 um, your thickness set on 10 and your speed set on 5 and then just hit cut I don't have my cutter plugged in anymore so you just but you would hit cut and it would send it to the cutter and cut this image out and you would be done so that's pretty easy right let's do something a little bit more complicated um, I'm gonna do a design that has more than one color so I'm gonna go ahead and open a different design. I'm going to actually go and use that Tinkerbell image that we had before, which is a GIF. So I'm going to open up Tinkerbell. Actually, I think I made her a JPEG too, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Alright, so I'll include Tinkerbell again. So you can do this um, in class with me. Um, so here's Tinkerbell and we want to trace Tinkerbell this time. But see, she's multiple colors. So this is a little bit more complicated than what we were just working with, where we just wanted the entire thing to be cut out, um, no questions asked, kind of. You know, we just want everything that was there to be cut out um, with the cutter. But this, we've got some choices to make, um, what parts are going to be cut out and what parts aren't. So um, remember, we go up to Object and Trace, and left click on Select Trace Area, click and hold my left mouse button, and drag a box around. I'm going to actually cut off this little Stonykins logo here. Alright, and so here's what it's decided to trace. Just the black outline is what it has decided to trace here. So if I go in and start adjusting my filters here, see it slowly start to fill in her shoes and her dress and her eyes a little bit and her hair. If I turn on the low pass filter, it gets a little bit more. But then if I move my threshold here, I can really start to get more of it. You see then that's way too much yellow. So that's too much on the threshold. You can also use these arrow keys to move a little bit at a time. I'm just moving sliders around here. I don't really even know exactly what I'm doing, but see, look, okay. So if I turn my high pass filter a little lower and then change my threshold, see how it's starting to fill in? There we go, see, now I've got it pretty good. So this is, this is gonna be a single color decal, um, right? When I'm cutting it out of that vinyl, I don't get the choice to make a bunch of different colors. So I kind of combined all of the colors, but it's still gonna be recognizable as Tinkerbell sitting there, really. So what I did was I moved my threshold, and there's not a set amount that I can tell you to do this, because it's going to differ for every image. You just kind of have to move the threshold around and move these sliders around until the yellow covers up the parts that you want to be cut out. Um, so this is going to be a hole, this is going to be a hole. Everywhere that you don't see yellow is going to be empty, and the yellow is going to be what's getting transferred to the shirt. Um, that's it really, you just hit trace and then I can get rid of my right click and delete to get rid of my image and there's my cut line ready to go um, and I guess the other thing that I'd want to do is flip this if I were going to use if I were going to use it on that transfer paper so that it's not flipped around and the way we did that was we went to object transform flip horizontally and now she's going to be flipped back around um, so that she'll look like this when we sew her out. Of course, it didn't do it for some reason. Flip. Oh, I didn't have it selected. You have to have your object selected before it'll let you transform it. All right, so transform, flip horizontally. She flips around, and she'll sew out, or not sew out. She'll cut out real nice, and I'll be able to 
be able to put this Tinkerbell and transfer it onto a shirt, which I should probably do that because my daughter would like it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks. I'll see you next time.